Welcome guys. Um, today is going to be another one of, that, of the blogs in the series and I'm going to be looking at what it's like to live as a disabled mum. So disabilities are obviously very far reaching so I'm going to be talking about my own experiences. Everyone with every form of disability their life is different. So mine uh, a little bit of brief history is just to give you a bit of a start is I have a chronic illness and I will be doing a vlog on what that entitles um, or what the word chronic does mean but I am housebound um, normally before the last year it that would have meant 90 to 95 percent of the time due to uh, chronic pain, joint joint problems, and so forth. The rest of the time, when I am out and about, I am in a wheelchair, and that does impact how I parent. But that doesn't change the fact that I am a mum. It just changes my parent exper parenting parenting ex parenting experiences from a mum without. A chronic illness now a lot of people presume people with disabilities make won't make good parents because they they judge based on their own experiences or they judge parenting based on what they see as norms so I'm just going to tell you a little bit about our family life and how we get by so i have a six-year-old boy he is he's everything to us he is the light of our life he is absolutely absolutely thriving in school and in his social life he plays football every monday after school in which his gramps takes him to and every single saturday he dances so he is very very rounded on his social activities and my best friend takes him dancing while we look after her little boy at our house who struggles to go to the dancing to dancing groups so it's kind of a bit of a group activity and then we have friends to the house for him to play with on a friday and on a saturday after dancing now we've turned our outdoor area into a play space for him so there are, because i struggle to get to parks we've we've got swings slides um trampoline very soon and he's got go-karts scooters football net everything all out there in the back garden always to be able to make sure that my disability doesn't impact as heavily as it could do without those things now obviously i can't take him on the same level of trips of trips as somebody without a disability could and that's something i'm very aware of but that doesn't mean that my little boy doesn't get to go on them we are very active on the fact that we raise my son as a village which is a very old way of seeing things but my sister my family whoever is well and able to help do my sister uh, especially my middle sister is the one that takes him out on trips mainly she's a trained nursery nurse and absolutely phenomenal with him today while i'm filming this she's taking him on a trip to a farm and it's something that would absolutely wear me out now for me as a mum it is actually quite hard seeing his a lot of his life through photos um when it comes to things like this but it's not something i would ever even come close to taking away from him now one of the first things i dealt with when i became a mum was a neonatal nurse telling me that as someone with a chronic illness I would make a bad bum 
there would be no chance. Now, I have medical training, social training, work training, and a lot more nowadays psychological training too. So I knew exactly how to talk and the falsehoods of what she was saying. It didn't stop it hitting home and causing problems for my psychological makeup for a long time. And any of you out there that have heard people say similar statements, it's not true. It's about finding ways to deal with it. It's about finding your family and that help. I mean, I say my family because my best friend, I count as part of that. It's family isn't always just blood. It's we, we, me and my best friend, we are, we're there for each other through thick and thin, no matter what is required. So if she needs help with her kids and what I can give is them staying at the house. I have no issue with them being here. And plus it gives my son kids to play with. It's finding ways disabled parents I'm more than able and my way sorry for the tap on the mic there my way for being able to do things with my son are different and they may not look like the traditional norms but that doesn't mean they are wrong now he is on the spectrum and very hyper intelligent when it comes to science mathematics and he particularly has a great love for space so one of the things i love to do with him is sit down and talk to him about these loves teach him about the planets read his science magazine with him each week they're things that are impacted by my disability my ability to spend time on those kind of passions spend time doing things creative with him where he can pull up a table and we can do painting over the period where we were homeschooling we did a couple of painting activities which i actually put up on the arty smarty mum page where i taught him and my goddaughter some specific crafts that we could do together and he could learn and we could go from there he actually has a particular one he wants to do now since I, my goddaughter, has made a particular craft that I put up on my Red Bubble page and he wants to do the same. So he's, we're going to be doing a fluid art um, homebrew soon where I will be teaching you guys how to make acrylic paint pour from scratch and he's wanting to use whatever's left over from that so probably be filming it over half term which in england is next week i have some rocks designed for that period but i'll be filming something over that period and he's wanting to use whatever's left over after i've designed to turn it into a canvas and that kind of thing is the way we find our we find our groove it doesn't all have to be the same every day for every single family. And just because I do creative things, because, well, obviously, as you've seen, that is my niche. It doesn't mean that every other family will. You might be a family that, well, some families, their disability isn't going to be that it keeps them stuck in the house. They might be able to still get out together and do other things together. But disability doesn't mean the end of family life. It doesn't mean that they can't, you can't get out and do, do things. And it doesn't mean that you're going to be a bad parent. It just means that people parent differently. What makes things hard for disabled parents are judgments. And judgments from others making people feel like you're failing because you're doing it differently. And that's what makes it a lot harder on us. Things like when I have had good days and got out with him on a bus and I've had people sat there and go, 
make little comments or like, oh, it must be hard for him having a disabled mum. Or it must be, or well done on you for getting out today. And it's like, sometimes it's just a lot easier it, just to let people get on with the day. And it's the same for us. But as I said, my little boy, he is the absolute light of my life. And he is currently hyper into Mario. As a lot of six-year-olds are now. Very into playing Switch games. Very proud that he can beat me at Switch games. Which is very disappointing to say. I'm a get, I've been a gamer all my life. I But my hands... Maybe good at painting, they're not so good at holding them very tiny switch remotes, um, which are us adults may like playing with them, but we're they're, they're clearly made for children's <laughs> hands. And yeah, he's he, he's very proud when he ever beats us, and he's got my very very hyper competitive spirit, so it goes down well all round. So we are, we are our own family unit and we find our way with chronic illness and we find our way with family and love and support from those we love. So when you do see a family or if you know a family in your life that are going through something like this, remember that it takes a village. Remember that you can be there to support them but do so without judgment of how they're living their life because that's the way they're going to let you in to support and that way everyone wins and is a lot happier while doing so so i'm going to leave it there and this picture as, as with last week's of course will be up on artist my mum on my instagram um, as you can see, it's just beginning, but it's going to be a nice sunset scene. Uh, I will let you see a couple of other bits I'm going to add to it just before I do end. So you can see where I'm planning on going. You can see the mountains are going on now. Very roughly, but they are getting, they are heading on and they would get deepened. And as I've showed you before, I'd be adding the light and dark, but I will also be adding a meandering river across, so I will paint that on before I go. So you can at least see the beginnings of it. So let's have a look. So what I'd be doing from here is it would go and meander right across the landscape down to here and it'd get wider as it goes. Um, now Obviously that's so rough because that paint's so wet, which is why I'm not adding it on much more. But it will be going right down and the river, the mountains will meet where the river goes. And we'd have a nice bright sun illuminating our sky when our sky is dry enough for us to do so. And then I'll probably put some forest trees and some flowers into our foreground as well. So I will show it you at the end of the video on completion and show you yeah i'll show you the rest as well so i hope you enjoyed this video and learning a little bit more about what it is like to raise a kid child with a disability um i can talk a bit about the feelings entailed another day if you're interested from my end but it's a good place to leave it for today so i hope you do all have a really good day um i've been artist marty mum stay safe and well guys